Hey guys, this is Swordfish, and today I'm playing Morrowind. We just had our corpus magically cured through a potion that made the bad effects go away and kept all the good effects, which is a pretty fantastic thing to happen, really. So I'm on my way back to Caius to tell him the good news and to find out Oh, sir. And to find out what to do next, first I'm gonna sleep until healed. I expect to get attacked and maybe have a dream. There's the dream. Here's the monster. Same as always. <laughs> Alright. Am I gonna get attacked every time I sleep? Because this is gonna suck. Alright. Let me rest, please. There we go. Sorry there's an ash zombie on your floor. Okay. Hello. Thank you for your report. I'm very happy you're cured. Unfortunately, I have a bit of bad news. I've been recalled to the Imperial City. You'll be promoted to operative and will head the blades here in Vardenfall until I return. I've only waited here to give you your final orders before I go. Recalled. Internal politics, some concern about my sugar. Hmm. Hmm. He's a drug addict. Alright, promoted to operative. That makes you the ranking blades agent here in the Vardenfall district. Look at me! Maybe other blades I don't know about. It wouldn't surprise me. Um, I love how he gives me a little tiny bit of gold. Um, and I won't be needing these blacks or the ring. Caius's black, Caius's black pants, shirt, and ring? Interesting. Okay. Head the blades. There's nothing to it. Each agent has his own assignment and reports directly to Cyrodiil. Um, interesting. Worry about this. Think locally. For forget about the Imperial City. Think locally. Worry about the Sixth House. Okay. My final orders. Continue pursuing the Nerevarian prophecies as the Emperor commands. First, go to the Hall of Wisdom and Justice and get Meramilo to help you find the lost prophecies. She's being watched. If something has gone wrong, find her private quarters. She'll leave you a message there under the code word Amaya. Then take the lost prophecies to Nibani Misa. From that point, you'll have to follow her directions and follow the prophecies. Good luck. Oh boy, that's exciting. Um... That's very exciting. I want to do that. This is progression. We're progressing through the game. Progression. Um, what is his? What are his clothes like? Why? Caius's pants. Chameleon on self. Fortify sneak. Those could be useful. And Caius's ring. Fortify luck and security. Oh, fortify security. <laughs> um. And that could be very useful. So, I think... I'm gonna... F Where are these people again? The Hall of Wisdom... In... Vivek. Right, so I gotta go back to Vivek. And, um... Which is here, right? I gotta go back to Vivek to there and, and talk to her. And see what's up. And that's a bit of a travel, so I'll see you when I get there. I'm back in Vivek. Um, I forgot how beautiful it is here. These views off these huge towers are crazy. Like, really, really awesome. It's just really pretty. It's a really pretty place. So I'm in the major... I'm in the foreign quarter right now. I need to get to the temple quarter, which is the back part. So, if I can find my way down to one of those, like, alright, here we go, here's down, to one of those, um, like, boat moving dudes, that would be perfect, or just jump. Did I just fall that far and not take any damage? That's wonderful. Um, otherwise I'll walk, it's not too far, it's this way, I'll start heading this way. Alright, here I am at the Temple Quarter, and I need to go to the Hall of Wisdom and Justice. This is the Hall of Justice. Is this Does that make this the Hall of Wisdom? Yep. 
All right, and I need to find Mera Milo, who I remember was um was being watched by some sort of yeah, they don't like her. And yeah, I remember I stole something from here a little while ago. She was in this back room and told me about it. They said if there's trouble, she'll be um in her there'll be a note in her quarters. I assume there's going to be trouble and there's going to be a note in her quarters. I just as a gamer who's played games, I can't imagine that they would have said that without that being true. However, while I'm here, as a thief, these are valuable books. Books are extremely valuable and extremely light. So I'm going to do a little bit of plundering first. Um... And then once I've taken everything I feel is worth taking, then I'm going to go find her quarters and see what's up. Well, I didn't see her in the library, so I believe I'm going to have to look in her quarters, which are locked. So I'm going to have to break into her quarters before I can see what's going on. Is there a note? Note to Amaya. Oh no. Amaya, sorry I missed you. I had to run some old documents over to the Inquisitor at the Ministry of Truth and I'm likely to be tied up there for a while. Maybe literally. Why don't you meet me there as soon as you can? Then we can leave together as soon as I'm done. And Amaya, don't forget to bring the two Divine Intervention Scrolls you borrowed. Or if you used one of them, buy a couple of new ones for me. I think I'm going to need them soon. And... J Janand Maulini, the Mage's Guild in the Foreign Quarter, keeps them in stock. I don't think I used those, but I'll check. Alvelish Saram is the guard at the entrance. Just tell her you're looking for me and she'll let you in. Your faithful friend, Mara. P.S. I left a couple of levitate potions here for you, just in case. I don't remember if you knew the spell or not, so I drew a couple from stock. Alright. Well, that doesn't sound good. That doesn't sound good at all. Let's loot her belongings while we're here, because we're good friends. Uh, Rising Force Scroll, or Divine Intervention. I don't think I used those. Divine Intervention Scroll, no, I still have them, so I'm ready to go. Now, where did she say she was? The Ministry of Truth. I think it means she's in trouble, probably imprisoned in the Ministry of Truth. All right. Let us find the Ministry of Truth. That is a scary name. Oh wait, does it say Ministry of Truth? I think that's in the Temple Quarter, though. So I'm gonna hunt around for that. I'm gonna hunt around for that and see what we find. Okay. I see why she left me the levitation potions. The Ministry of Truth is a celestial body suspended by Vivek's mighty power over the Great Temple of High Fane in Vivek City. High Fane is the largest tribunal temple. Pilgrims travel to view the High Fane in the Ministry of Truth. So, I assume that's in the temple quarters, the High Fane. So I have to find that and then levitate my way up to the Ministry of Truth. So that's interesting. That looks like a temple. That could be it. Oh, is that the Ministry of... No. That could be the Ministry of Truth, that thing floating there. That seems likely. Being that it's a floating thing. It doesn't look like a Ministry of Truth so much as it looks like a rock. A creepy rock. Alright, so I need to... Float up there. Levitation Potion. Let's do it. I'm just gonna go all the way up to the top, I guess. Tell the guard at the entrance you're looking for 
Meramilo, right? Is this the guard? I don't have a lot of patience for questions, Outlander. You're not here to visit anyone, are you? I am. Mera said you would come. I'll say you subdued me with magic and stole my key. We have an insider. It opens all three exterior doors. The upper back door is best. You'll need other keys for other doors inside. Search for the keys in desks. No one carries keys while on duty. Mera is in prison keep in the cell on the far right. Mera said you'd bring scrolls to get out. Some of us are sympathetic to the distant priest, but kill an ordinator, you'll lose that sympathy. Here's the key to the entrance, now get going. Oh man, this is like a break-in. This is awesome. So I have to search the desks for keys to the other rooms. What did she say? Alright. Well, this looks like the top back entrance. So let's do this. Oh, it's so dark in here. I'm still levitating. I need my torch, actually. Um, this is weird. Worn cavern door to Vivek Temple. Well, I guess I'll pick these locks just to have entrances open. This probably gets me outside again. So now this door is unlocked, so that's good. You know, just now you die. What? Who's. What? They're attacking me. But I. I, I subdued. Okay, well. Maybe I didn't realize what was going on exactly. There's the prison keep. Are they not gonna follow me through the door? Don't follow me through the door. Greetings, intruder. Oh, jeez. Guards. Intruder! Good. You know what? You know what? Well. Oh, my God. How am I supposed to break in here? Okay, well. Quick load. Okay, I had an idea. I'm at the prison keep entrance. So, I'm going to pick this lock. Then, I'm going to use... I'm going to put my torch away. And then, I'm going to use moon shadow. Um, to make myself invisible. So in theory, I should be invisible. I'm not invisible anymore. Am I? No. I, I should be. I guess not. Okay. I guess I don't understand how that works. So I'm going to open the door, and then I'm going to cast the spell. Okay, open the door. Now, queue up Moon Shadow. We're going to open the door, and then cast it immediately. And now I'm invisible. And now they, they shouldn't know where I am. And now I can run through here and find Mera Milo in a cell, holding cells. Is she in this holding cell? Oh, but when I open a door... Oh, I guessed right! Um, that worked. Do you have the Divine Invention Scrolls? I have an escape plan. I do. I did one set scroll for myself. Getting out would be a lot faster for savory if you have one, but if you don't, you can find another way out. I I'm just gonna do that. Meet at the secret dissident priest monastery in Holomayan. We'll travel separately. When you get out of here, look for a woman named Blada Hateria on the east docks of Ebonheart. Tell her I sent you and that you want to go fishing. She'll bring you to Holomayan by boat. I'll meet you there and we'll get the lost prophecies. Magic conceals the entrance. Oh my god. This is so complicated. Okay. Well, so th I need to look for Blada Hatira on the east docks of Ebonheart. That's... Okay, now she's gonna divine intervention out of here. Meet you at Holomayan. Good luck. When you get there, talk to Gilvas Barello. A lot of people to talk to. Um... I was expecting her to, to, to do it, to like go, to... 
Okay, I was expecting her to divine intervention away, but I guess she's waiting for me to, um... Waiting for me to do it so that I can ask her questions. Good game design. All right. Divine intervention. Where did I end up? At Ebenhart. Why did it bring me to Ebenhart? Why? Why did the scroll bring me here? I don't... Whatever. That's confusing. Or, that's easy. Go to the east docks in Ebenhart and find Blada Hatiria. Hatiria. Okay. Ebenhart is quite the little city. It looks kind of like the other imperial... Like, town... Like, fort towns. Except that... There's this huge dragon sculpture, and there's some people... There's a lot of stuff going on here. What is this guy? There's a lot of weird stuff going on here, and I'm sure I'll be back. I'm um, not gonna do too much talking for now, because I don't wanna... Um, Alright, 50-50. Which one of these people is... Blada Hateria? Well, it's a she, so I'm thinking this one. Are you Blada? Hey, Blada. Um, travel. Okay, fisherwoman. Ebenhart, know you? Right, you're swordfish. My friend said you might want to go fishing. Excellent fishing. Merimila says it's her favorite fishing spot. You ready to go? Not yet. Save the game. Now I'm ready to go. Go fishing. Yes. Good. Oh, now she... Oh, it just unlocked the travel option. Okay. Let's do it. And you're not the same person. You're gonna take me back, right? Oh, this is Vevra Arnion, a monk of Holomayan. The monastery is here on the island. Take the stone pathway north from the docks and the path uphill. Entrance is hidden by a magical shield. Wait or rest at the head of the path. The portal will open at dusk or dawn only. Magical twilight hours sacred to Azura. Merimila has told us if you're coming, you can find her at the library. Later, I can arrange for your return to Vivek whenever you're ready. Okay. Take the stone pathway north from the docks and take the path uphill. I can do that. I kind of wish it wasn't nighttime. Where are we? Oh my god, we're way over here. We went from here all the way around to here. That's very helpful. That's some very helpful fast traveling. I'm glad the game knew to not make me walk there, because I would have been upset. I'm assuming that this is the entrance. So we need to wait to dawn or dusk. I'm not sure what time dawn happens in Morrowind. So I'm going to just rest until it's the sun starts to come up. I'll just rest one hour at a time. Ooh, that's a long save. Yep, there it is. All right. And we're going in to the Holomayan Monastery. Okay, I'm finding Melamiro in the monastery. Let us find her in the monastery now. Where's Mera? Mera, where are you? Okay, I'll find her and, and let you know. Welcome, Swordfish. Merimilo has told us if you're coming, you can find her in the library with Master Borello. Merimilo has run terrible risks remaining at the Hall of Wisdom and Truth, and we are grateful that you have rescued her from the Ministry of Truth. The abbot of our monastery. Okay, so he's in the she's in the library with the abbot. That's very important. What say you? Hey, Freaky. Oh, everyone is telling me to go see her there, so they know I'm coming. And there she is. Mera. Thank you, Swordfish, for rescuing me. Now I'll stay here at Holomine with Master Borello and assist him with the monastery's library. Okay, so what am I supposed to be doing now? Um, 
I'm supposed to be... She's gonna tell me how to get the Lost Prophecies. And then I'm supposed to bring them to... Some... To Nibani Mesa. Alright. Caius... Caius has gone back to the Imperial City. He says he's been recalled. I wonder. I never know what he's thinking. I think he's involved in something secret. Something dangerous. Alright. Dugath or... Alright. Let's see. Let me... Let me see here. But she's supposed to tell me how to get the thing. Maybe he will now? How can I help you? Lost Prophecies. I have reviewed... This guy probably has a... A deep voice. I have reviewed the Apographa and have found two passages of particular interest. We've made copies of these passages to give you. Many are familiar with the two Nervarine prophecies common among the Ashlanders called the Stranger and the Seven Vision. Is this supposed to be visions? Or seventh? That's a typo. We have two other prophecies, the Lost Prophecy and the Seven Curses, that may offer additional insights into the riddles surrounding the coming of the Incarnate. Perhaps these are the lost prophecies that your friend Nibesa, Nibani Mesa told you about. We have also prepared a document for you called Kegrenax Tools. This document will explain to you and others the terrible secret that the temple conceals about the true history of the tribunal and the corrupt nature of their divine powers. It is to, it is to conceal this secret that the temple persecutes the Nerevarine and the dissident priests. This persecution must stop. We must be united against the true enemy Dagoth Ur. And if you are the Nereverine, you must lead us against him. Wow. So, they have the... Oh, here's the Lost Prophecy. From seventh sign of eleventh generation, neither hound nor guar, nor seed nor harrow, but dragonborn and far star marked, outlander incarnate beneath Red Mountain. Blessed guest counters seven curses. Star-blessed hand wields thrice-cursed blade to reap the harvest of the unmourned ho house. I've un annotated your copy of The Lost Prophecy with our best efforts at interpretation, but a rough summary might be an outlander, foreign-born, but welcome as a guest, confronts seven curses beneath Red Mountain. His hand, blessed by Azura, uses a cursed blade to bring justice to House Dagoth or House Dwemer, or both. The Nereverine, an outlander? That wouldn't please many Ashlanders and may explain how the prophecy got lost. Interesting. <clears throat> Our interest in the Nereverian used to be a matter of principle, a willingness to consider the validity of mystical insights rejected by temple doctrine. Now Dagathor grows stronger while the tribunal grows weaker, and the return of Saint Nerevar, even if reborn in spirit, may be our best prospect of salvation. <clears throat> Seven Curses, here's the other one. It reads as follows. Through the doors of the unmourned un house, where scoffers scoff and schemers scheme, from the halls of the oath-breaking house, ring seven curses of gods blasphemed. First curse, curse of fire. Second curse, curse of ash. Third curse, curse of flesh. Fourth curse, curse of ghosts. Fifth curse, curse of seed. Sixth curse, curse of despair. Seventh curse, curse of dreams. Your copy of the seventh curses bears our guesses at interpreting the verses in short form. Seven curses come from half Dagoth or half Dwemer or both. Fire ash come from Red Mountain. Flesh is corpus. Ghost seed and despair are unknown, but curse of dreams seems to refer to recent cases of soul sickness and sleeper attacks in the towns. Okay, Apographa. This guy has a lot of important dialogue. I'm sorry if it's boring, but it's important to the game. The Hierographa are the collected priestly writings of the temple. The Apographa are the hidden writings, secrets known only at the highest levels of priesthood and inquisition. Defying the temple, we have gathered as much of the Apographa as we can here in Holomayan. One of our chief disputes between the temple and the dissident priests is that the temple hides the truth from its followers. Dissident priests are a significant, a significant part of the temple hierarchy might be more inclined to accept and tolerate differences of opinion and dogma, but other parts of the temple, in particular the ordinators under Burel Sala, came claim that the threat from Red Mountain and Dagoth Ore can only be resisted with a unified, resolute faith. The people are afraid, so they support the hard line. But if we can show ourselves able to confront Dagoth Ore more effectively than the Ordinators, the temple and people will support us. Dagoth Ore. So long as the Ordinators, Buoyant, Argimers, and Tribunal could contain the Blight and Dagoth Ore's creatures within the Ghost Fence. Faith in the people's, the temple's protective power was strong, but now travelers and, seg and settlements suffer from blight storms and marauding monsters, and the people fear the temple is losing its ages-old battles with the devil Dagathor. Oh boy, I talked about that, talked about that. Nerevar. 
By the way, here are a few books from our library you might find of interest. Each gives a very different impression of Nerevar. Interesting. Nerevarine. Talked about that. Secret order. Sixth house. There is a new threat. This is a new threat, and not yet widely recognized as another face of the Devil Dagothor, but is clearly a sign of, the, of a coming crisis. And the temple may no longer be able to protect Morrowind. In such troubled times, the Dunmer may turn to the ancient pillars of faith, the ancestors in the Deidre, and especially to the prophetic visions granted by Lord Azura. Then they may look to the Nerevarine, Saint Nerevar reborn, to lead them against the grim armies of Dagathor. I believe I just went through all of this important dialogue. Um, and I know everything I need to know. So now I need to bring the Lost Prophecies to... Wait, let me talk to her about it. If she has anything to say. I think I've already talked to her about everything. So I need to return to Nibani and give her the scrolls. And I'm going to do that in the next episode. Because this one's getting a bit long and kind of chatty and full of dialogue. But I hope you enjoyed anyway. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.